I'm with Michal Jabba from the Spafford Children's Centre. Now, Michal, what is the Spafford Children's Centre? A uh, Spafford Children's Centre is like a centre which provides service for children, youth and mothers uh, in each in Jerusalem and also on the West Bank uh, because Spafford Children's Centre is located in, in the old city, in Saudi quarter and it's like a huge place for the old city which can provide many services. Also we have like outreach clinic in, uh, in Taiba, Ramallah and another uh, outreach uh, clinic in uh, Bethany for four days in a week. Uh, what is Puffled? We have like here three departments. We have like uh, culture department, we have like also psychosocial educational uh, department and finally we have like the uh, medical department. So when was this place founded? It was founded in uh, 1925. It was like a house for, like, for, uh, I think for orphan people, and after that it was like a hospital. And after uh, the war in 1967, uh, it was uh, just a clinic, and slowly, slowly, they established like the psychosocial educational department, and in 1998 they established like the culture department. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea is like to, to be like to give like a holistic like service for the children, so the child come here for vaccine, and after that, if we have some some uh, social or psycho problem will be here and the cultural activity is like to make him like more creative to find and also to help him to find like uh, how he can spend his time mm -hmm. in a good way yeah. now you say you have a medical department what, what sort of things do you do in the medical department in the medical de 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 department they are giving vaccine from like uh, from one month until like uh, they are coming here the vaccine for one month until two years uh, we ha we have here the children from from the they born until uh, the age 18. So you must have vaccinated a lot of babies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you also have a social services department. What sort of problems do people face when they come to you? Uh, I think here, like, we have, like, for example, if we start with the mothers, uh, the mothers here they are maybe, they are, like, getting married in a very early age, and this, they are not uh, educated, they don't know how to, like they can like take care of a baby of the family so we have like here courses for the mother to like to make him like awareness about their role in the society how they can uh, make like a good family and also we have some some because here we are like a, a community which like give like the man the priority for everything so some some women are have been like abused in their family when they are like ch uh, ch child, so here we have like expressive art, like talking about that, make this feeling out, and also we have like here some courses for like, like sexual education. We have uh, also some courses for, for the mothers about the how they can take care of themselves. Now, is poverty and, and drug and alcohol abuse a big problem here? Yes. Uh, in Jerusalem, I think we have many youth because, like, for example, in the youth, because I work in, yani, mainly I work with the youth. Uh, the youth, like, in a very early age, they are going out of school because they can work in the Israeli part uh, in a very early age, like, in the year of 16, he can have, like, good money like me. So uh, this money, without, like, uh, one controlling this money, so it's like a chance to, like, like to start know what is drug alcohol so many of our youth here they are using like marijuana it's like like a cigarette for them they're using drugs and alcohol and and in, in jerusalem we don't have like a contact because the israelis are not aware about this problem social problem and even the palestinians they can't like inter interrupt in these things so uh, there is no no answer about that so that's why we have many youth that are using drugs and we have many poverty because sometimes people they use they use not to work after like they have a family because they are lazy because they said that that the, the employee office they can give him some few money and this is the problem. Now the land is uh, violent. Sometimes does violence affect some of the youth here? 
I think violence, it's a big problem. For example, like, if you go to the, like, uh, here we have, like, uh, the, the bus station, they're destroying the bus for everything. We have, yeah, because, like, the bus station is, like, here, it's founded for uh, very recently, before two years. And if you go, most of the buses, they are talking, they are uh, broken, they are damaging. So it's, it's a violence. And in the schools, we have many problems with violence. And we have, like, if, they are like again sometimes because I think uh, they watch the violence and no one talk with them how they can express the violence we don't have many here centers which can like make them busy like in cultural activity in sport activity so they don't have uh, they don't have anything to do so I think the violence is it's what they do now you said you also have art therapy does the violence come through in the art that they do as well Sometimes, yes, you can see like uh, here, for example, like in drawing, some of the children, if you draw what you want, he will draw like a wall, some of them, they're drawing like people like with guns, people like, uh, uh, and are abusing one child because here it's like, uh, I, I think in Jerusalem, this problem, we have uh, in Jerusalem many social problems, yeah, especially like the violence. So how does the art therapy help the children? Uh, art therapy is like give them chance like to like to draw what they are feeling about and after that they are talking about the thing that they, they draw they they have a discussion with each other with, the, with with also like the teacher or like the psychologists working with them so it's when they talk about it it's it's go out and after that they will find something to do like to make them busy like in that case and in anything now you also have special education department what sort of people do you cater to the uh, we, uh, the, the special education department, we have like uh, children from kindergarten and from school in the very, very, like in the first elementary school. Uh, these children, we are, they are coming from the school, we have cooperation with schools. These are, they, are not, they don't have like a good like education like uh, in their schools, they have, they have some problems. We are working them as with the play therapy, with like uh, sometimes speech uh, therapy and uh, uh, th we are uh, dealing with them in, in a very small group, like from two, four, like sometimes like the individual with the teacher, to give them a chance to be like more uh, more aware about their their problems. Now you also have a cultural department that teaches dance. What sort of dancing do you do? What sort of other things do you do with that? Uh, in the culture department, we have like um, an activity like we have like a library for children. It's on Friday, uh, it's one, once a week for children, and it's like uh, give them a chance for creative things. We have also art uh, workshop, and we have like a computer lab with the leadership program, and uh, we have also like dabke dancing and theater group and singing and percussion and some music instrument. The idea in the culture department because in Jerusalem we don't have like many bands which can perform. So the center take on his uh, on himself that he will create uh, some like bands which would in the future be like uh, independent and they can work. For example, like uh, we have like we start uh, for two years with the dabke dancing, which is like a very old uh, Palestinian dance. It's belong to the cultural heritage. It's also good because youth now they don't aware about the cultural heritage, they are, they are far away for, for that. So by this dancing, because it's attract the the boys and the girls because they dance together as as one group. So uh, the good in, the, in this thing that the people will be more aware about the cultural heritage and they can perform in the special events and it's perform. And uh, before last month, he succeeded to be represent of Jerusalem as first like first Dabke and he participated like with the in the West Bank uh, competition but they didn't succeed like to win but for them it was a, good, a very good experience and now we want to make for children to make like very many group. Do they also wear traditional Palestinian dress when they dance? Yes, they, they should like wear uh, special uh, custom for that. But in Jerusalem, they are wearing like like as a Palestinian flag because in Jerusalem we can't like show the Palestinian flag. So if you see like the the, the Dutch custom, you will see like as a flag. I will show it to you. Why are they allowed to show the Palestinian flag in Jerusalem? 
because it's like political issue. They are not. Uh, they can't like put uh, because now Jerusalem is like the only city which under uh, the Israeli occupation, and for like political reason, they they can't like put the Palestinian flag as uh, on a T-shirt, like on their uh, house roof. So we think that it's a good idea that people also know know their flag. So. Why do you do what you do? You seem to do a lot of things here. So why do you personally do what you do? I, I think uh, I think like uh, Jerusalem, uh, uh, like is a, is, a, is a very important city for all the Palestinians. And I th I see because maybe I all my I spend all my time in the West Bank. We, in Jerusalem, we have many problems. Like we have drugs, uh, we have alcohol, we have poverty, and the most problem people are not aware about their identity. So if you ask one one J Jerusalem youth, what are you? What from where are you? He don't know to tell you. He is Palestinian or Arab or Israeli or Arab Israeli. They are confusing about their uh, identity. So I think personally, I would I working uh, with children and youth because. Here, most of the like, population is from ch children and youth. So I think we should like educate these uh, youth and children and give them a chance to participate in, in special activity. So at least they can be like uh, very important. Like for example, like we have here a clown band which they make fun day for for children, and all of them they are volunteer from from the youth. They are coming alone. They are they are giving like the theater sketches. They are playing by, by themselves, and at the end they, they perform. So I think uh, if we give like any child or any youth like a space, like to to train, to do something, I think it will be. And in Jerusalem, what I see, uh, there isn't many inst institution and center which take care of this activity. So I think personally, I have like I have like responsibility to be like to give more, to give chance like for that. So how many children do you think you've helped over the years? I don't know, but I think like uh, like for the vaccine, for example, 100 are coming like per the year. I don't know the number, but I can read it. And like in the culture department, we have like every year, like we have 100 child participants in all activity. Uh, we have also in the youth program, we have like 60 youth, which are very active. Uh, also, we have the summer camp, which sometimes we have like for, for more than 100. And the uh, uh, psychosocial education department, I think they have like from 200 to 300 children participant in, in classes which are coming here weekly. So what's your prayer for the children and the youth of the city? I think if I wanted to pray for something for them, I think like to have like a family which give them a chance like to be child because here I don't like ch see children because I see child but he is like he's like a youth or like old man because he know everything and about political about the problem about everything and I think the child should be like a child like to play to have a specific play not just to think about something not uh, he, he don't should like to think about it okay Mr. thank you very much welcome thank you